Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers knockoff review. In today's video we're taking a look at the CE-01 King B Knight. This is basically an upscaled version of the Transcraft Bumblebee that we had a few months back. Was it a few months back? I think it was a year ago. Was it really a year ago that came out? My goodness. This is basically an upgraded, kind of upsized version a lovely kind of embossed box a uh, nice artwork on there let's hope it's not stolen and flip around the box we've got b got him in his light up eyes yeah i'll discuss that with you shortly and then we get him with his weapons as well like i said really nice packaging really nice feel to it uh, it's kind of got a kind of a texture going on so uh, without further ado let's crack him open and here we have him out of his plastic Prison. Uh, he does look sensational. Really a little bit too clean for my likings. I've got the 5U version of the 3A Bumblebee, and that was a kind of a dirtier, grimier look, which is what I kind of associate with B. But he could have just been through a car wash, and he's nice, clean, and shiny. Uh, gorgeous colours on him, and uh, I, I can't knock Transcraft for making a fantastic Bumblebee. I just didn't like the transformation because it's so small and compact i really struggled i don't have very good motor skills in my hands and i really kind of struggled with it but this is on a much bigger scale and i found it a lot easier i mean detail wise he looks sensational transcraft did an amazing job with the original engineering but like i said it was just that scale that caused issues for me but this kind of rectifies all of that, but <laughs> believe me, this dude is not without his flaws, but he is a very affordable option if you're looking for an MP-sized B. I mean, if you collect these masterpiece-looking figures, and you like the likes of the 3-0, these scale remarkably well with those. I mean, there's a lot of yellow going on there, isn't there? But this is the 3A, well, five-year version of Bumblebee. This is the Zeta one. Um, mine was the pre-production wibbly-wobbly test shot, wasn't it? And it's still kind of hanging in there. But this, that's a really good size, isn't it? Let's bring in some of the smaller versions. At the front here, we have the Transform Element version. And then we have the oversized black mamba version that's oversized version of the mpm i believe that particular model i think he's been reissued uh, now known as armor wasp but uh, gives you an idea and here we actually have him alongside the transcraft b uh, a few different uh, glaring similarities obviously the paint scheme for one i do need to kind of paint up the odd piece here like this piece here definitely needs to be silver uh, kind of gun metal i guess I may just uh, end up painting him all together. Uh, they've added lots of uh, kind of exposed ball joints. Uh, my biggest gripe with this, other than how fact that it's incredibly clean, uh, my biggest gripe lays in the wheel sections on the shoulders. Hang on, let's just put this up properly. So they should sit there like so. Uh, obviously, this is attached here, which keeps this butterfly joint section in place. Uh, the shoulders are quite tight so that when these butterfly joints are in place uh, this here is really stiff so if you move this it just pops the butterfly joint out and also if you look here I've had to get the red light section out of the legs. It's meant to sit officially on the Transcraft one. It sits away nicely inside this leg but the angle that they attach this on here, if I just um, if I just pop this up and open these up, I'll show you. There, uh, officially, the angle this is meant to go at here, this is meant to actually come round and sit in there like that. It's really tight. I mean, I think can do it it's just incredibly tight i think there's a lot of paint on that piece 
Uh, oh, let's put this down here. Uh, there's a lot of paint on that piece, and I'm just a little bit, a little bit wary. But let's uh, let's see if we can get that. So that's in, that's in. This comes down and tabs in like there. This comes down and then match that up. Oh, and then push this piece in. There we go. So I mean, it does does kind of tidy up. What have I done wrong here then? That is not sitting right, is it? Does kind of sit in there a little better, but it's a really kind of tight fit. It's just a little bit too much paint on that joint, I think. Now, accessory wise, he does come with a blade and a kind of sword style blade as well. He comes with his hammer, which is nice. And he comes with an alternative head and two sets of battery compartments, uh, which you can see if I just pop this off. See there's a circuit there and with batteries, and uh, these will just fit in now. <laughs> now, you're meant to get a magnet in here. I think it's meant to be in the end, and there's not one in there. It's one of those magnetic lights. Now I've tried a normal magnet and nothing's lighting that up. And those are brand new batteries in there. I've tried it in both sets of heads, nothing works. Which is a shame because that's a really nice head. This, however, does come with batteries, and uh, that works. It's just on and off. Let's cover the articulation. Head can go up, down, left, right, tilt quizzically, side to side. That's just a ball-mounted head, so you can switch out the other head just by popping that off. Uh, these <laughs> uh, butterfly joints kind of get in the way. You have to really push this against it to get them to work, but it does rotate upwards and downwards. There's a bicep swivel here. There is a bend on that elbow, kind of hindered somewhat by the forearm, a full rotation on the wrist and pinned fingers and articulation on that thumb. There is a waist rotation and not really any abdominal crunch in there. See what I mean about that shoulder? Look, just pop that out slightly, and then those butterfly joints just really want to kind of come forward. Uh, legs can come this far forwards, <laughs> this far back, out to the side. There's an upper thigh rotation in there. There is a bend on that knee, bringing this hinge up and over, like so, which is a really nice way of doing that. Bring that down. And we've got some up and down, and we've got some pivoting side to side on the feet. Although these bits at the back here do kind of hinder this, kind of just tabs in. I wonder if this should have come up. I wonder if I can move this up by loosening it a bit. I don't think there's anywhere for it to go, really. But yeah, so he's got the articulation. It's just those shoulders a little bit too loose for my liking. Now I'm going to include a gallery just at the end of the video if you want to see him compared to some of the other bots in the series. I'll take some pictures. Uh, by all means feel free to skip forward. I'll leave some time codes in the description below. But I'm going to take you through the transformation getting him changed up from this gorgeous bot mode into his vehicle mode. Right, we're going to start off with his arms. You want to rock these hands back like so. Bring the thumb up to the front and make sure the fingers are collapsed. And push the hand like so, the thumb collapses on like this. So the forearm's gonna come out to the front and then this is gonna come around and like so. So you've got these outer pieces here and the forearm's going kind of full on monkey prime facing forwards. Head pieces go down. Uh, these pieces here are gonna come away and come away, this untabs from here, this untabs from here. Come down to the waist and this piece here is gonna untab from the abdomen, like so. 
this here is going to untab from the groin like this and there is a sliding hinge here slide that all the way up these rotate and rotate like so these here are going to flip and rotate around all the way around so that this piece comes back up to the top panel one thing I have noticed about this compared to the Transcraft ones, uh, all the ball sockets are really nice and kind of smooth. So uh, when you line things up, they really do kind of just slide into position nicely. Uh, this is actually going to flip over like so. That's going to flip over like that. And these bits here are going to come undone. This is then going to rotate around. See, it's already starting to come together from here. This piece here is going to come away from that torso. That's going to come out. That's going to come out. Uh, these are going to come up and this is going to rotate around so that these should sit nicely into that joint here and then the wheels come around so they're already in position so again on this side bring that up rotate the wheel around there we go and then they can be brought into the center and pushed and tabbed together the head panel tips back oh i've popped that off the ball joint haven't i yeah Head panel tips back off that rocking hinge. This is then going to rock around like so, and the head can then sneak nicely on the underside like that. You can then push this crotch piece here downwards, and the wheels are going to line up. And combination of moving the chest plate and the wheels together allow these to tab in so come on oh, oh there we go that's one that's in yeah and same on this side move the chest plate and the wheel until they line up and push tab and locate those into position now's as good as time as any to flip the torso up and over and this is going to come up here and that will tab in forming the rear bumper section so let's bring that in and once that's latched i should just tab in so that runs smoothly over that rear bumper the idea is to uh, move these up into that void and bring these down and when we're bending these over you see that we've got uh, a small gap just on the underside of that wheel basically we are lining up these plastic pieces here with the wheel but when it comes around it's going to latch and tab in ah, there we go positioning that in like so come down to the legs and it's going to open up here this will untab from here this will unfold i'm going to bring these out to the side this here and tabs on the front of here this is going to disengage like so and like so so i can come away from this knee joint and that's a little bit more room to work with it's going to come up and out of the way same with this it's going to come around and out of the way and we want to end up with the legs facing inwards so you want to 
rotate that thigh joint around. This bit here is going to rotate around and collapse in on that hinge. So rather than being all the way out, it's going to collapse. And that comes down the outside of this leg, like so. And that's going to sit on the inside like this. We've got this panel here. That's going to untab. There it come. Oh, there we go. Up, around, like so, and lift that up. And we can then bring this piece up and around. This is then going to form the front of the car. So you want to open this tab here. This is going to swing the wheel down. This piece here should then come up. If you're on this side here, this is on a slider, so you can slide that up and down. It is only on a slider on one side though. So this thing gonna come up, fold this piece here inwards. This is gonna come around, this will come inwards and upwards like so. So this can drop down to the front. This then gonna hinge upwards. And this whole hinge gonna rotate and that's gonna form part of the roof panel and then basically this will slide through this void these will come up and you can see this is all going to collapse nicely down it says bring these front pieces level and tab those in as in a matter of locking all of these into position. We've got uh, these panels on the roof which are going to tab in. These are going to come in, slide, tab in to the legs as well, like so. Uh, these are going to come up and over, and you see those lock in and tab in on there. This is where I've struggled with the Transcraft one as well. So many tabs and everything has to be in exactly the right position for everything to lock into place. Right, this one has shifted. But an acceptable amount, so you can see that I've actually managed to transform it. Albeit this small piece here has dropped again. That's in, that's in. Come on, that's all down, that's all down. Just you are playing up for the camera. There we go. That is Bumblebee in his fully transformed bug mode. Still a little panelific, but it does roll quite nicely. Wheels all kind of move, lots and lots of weight to this. But it's just those odd bits and they just do not want to quite stay in. But there we go. That's Bumblebee in his alt mode. And here we have him alongside Shia LaBeouf. He was a three and three quarter inch figure. To give you an idea. So there we have it. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, 
from A to B, not so fun. But that's the same as the Transcraft version as well. I really did not enjoy the journey. But that being said, it works. It's a vehicle. Still one of the best robot modes out there for a transforming Bumblebee without a shadow of a doubt. It's okay. It's a really good piece considering the price. Comparing it to the other versions, I'd probably rate it up there with the 5U stroke 3A, but this transforms. Therefore, it should really be a little bit ahead. But I suppose it's just that likeness, isn't it? Uh, you're never going to get as accurate, I suppose, as the statues, but this is darn near close. Stay to the end of the video, and we'll include some more pictures of this bot mode and vehicle mode as promised, so you can see the comparisons with other bay formers, etc. And until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all very, very much for watching. Bye.